Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching my videos. And today I want to talk to you about this time frame that we're heading into. Uh, we're a few days, it's going to be February. And February is going to what I'm calling the month of love. February is about balancing things in union. And I hope everyone's doing well. We've had like a really bumpy last few days. We have had the retrograde. We've got um, conjuncts here with other planets. Those planets have an energetic influence on you and your union. It's there for a reason. We've had five planets all in alignment. And if I can say it this way, your stars are aligned. The stars have come into alignment. But what does this mean, Patricia? What this means is that it is time to see the things to help you balance. Balance in union. And it's going to be time for, yes, more patience. Patience, try, allow, try something and allow. Now, to some of you, you've been saying, what is this? Some kind of cosmic joke from the universe? No, you're not crazy. There, I've said it. But what it is, uh, it may feel like a game some of us played as a child. This is not a game, though. It feels like red light, green light. Red light, stop. Green light, come forward. And it has to be that way. That's what these retrogrades are. They're a stop, a pause, a look back, a reliving. Um, for those of you who were very wise, and I do this in my sessions, it's a rewriting, reliving. You're actually reweaving. And we're going to talk about that. So it's also time for you to get busy pr mostly preparing your light, emerging light body. Your light body is your instrument, whether you call it your chakras, your metaphysical parts, whether you call it your inner, inner body, your celestial body, your divine body, your angel body. It is getting prepared. It will continue to get prepared. The very things that are out there that people call ascension symptoms are going to be things that are very recognizable to you. And your senses are getting heightened. And as a part of that preparation, I have something I want to demonstrate here for you. Um, so let's say this is your heart as it once was. And it's about this size and it can hold about this much. That's not too much. But then you start to do a little cleaning and purging and your heart's like this. Okay. That's not too deep. You haven't gotten too deep. Then your heart's like this. That's a little deeper, you know. That can hold a lot more love, can't it? And finally, you're getting to the point where all of these are within your giant heart chakra. And... Your back of the heart chakra. Now, if some of you have seen um, a depiction of what people show as, you know, these are the energies that go, it can look like a giant donut or an inner tube is around you. It's really not like that. And it's very mutable, meaning it can change size, it can expand. And I would say for a lot of people who are open, this is about, you know, maybe the right width here. And this is your connection to your cosmic sacred heart. So there's a few things to know about that. Why is that significant? Why am I showing you that? There's a reason. Your light body continues emerging. It continues expanding. For some of you, if you've been overextended, if your twin flame is overextending the energies of your union, you'll feel it. You'll even feel like this isn't enough. My generous heart is like beyond its, its limits here. And that is part of the limits of 
the matter that we're bringing spirit and soul into. You also have um, a lot of the clearing that's going on. There are layers and layers, and a lot of people don't like to hear that. They're like, really? Really? Yes, really. Because you're getting to be the emptied out cup so that you can fill with each other's love. There is not supposed to really be anything lingering in here, coming up at the wrong time. So during a retrograde, you'll find that things that maybe haven't been addressed where you're getting them out properly, once we start to go direct here and it's time to take actions where you saw things again and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that came up at this time. It can be repressed grief. That's going to be a very big factor for a lot of people. Are you grieving something that you left behind? Are you grieving an old relationship? Are you even grieving things about you and your twin flame? Because grief does happen as you keep letting go of the old dinosaur lives of surviving. You may find that, yeah, the grief is a part of the process, sadness, despair. Also, I want to, uh, as a reminder to everyone, remember about detox, okay? A lot of people have found that when they do get rid of toxic things in their life, that uh, some form of detox goes with it. Cut your twin flame some slack because as things go away, they may also be detoxing. It's not a pleasant process. Detox is not the love. Love is what heals. Okay, detox is the process. That's why some of this is painful. Um, you are getting toxic things out. Now, why is this all so significant? Here you are, you've got your big giant cosmic sacred heart, your chakra connecting you out there. It is that your head is no longer in charge. Your heart is. So this is this is like, you know, your scent in some ways is like a plane. You're like, it's bumpy, it's bumpy, hang on. Everyone keep your seatbelts fastened, keep breathing, keep going, patient. It's going to come the point where you can unfasten that seatbelt and you're going to be like sailing, okay? The very thing that you've been expecting will become easier. Does it mean that there's no effort involved? There will be less and less effort when you get to know your body. When you get to know your body and how it works and you get your promptings, it's going to be on the inside. You will get messages from the natural world, but more and more your messages have to come from the inside. And how do you do that? You do it by clearing and preparing your light body. This is going to be, you know, everything for you going forward. That's your wireless. That's your wireless. That doesn't require anything. You're getting all the wired connections out of you. This is, uh, this month is a two, it's February, it's February, and that's the second month of the year. That stands for balance and union, that's what I'm going to say it is. Don't force things, but continue to persevere. Also, I had some other messages that I got that I want to share. Now, this, uh, I found this, and this was, as you know, sometimes I find cards, I find things in, out on my walks in the natural world. This was a set of playing cards. This is just um, Chicago. And that's my grid point. That's one of, that's my primary grid point. I have two other ones, one in Florida and one in Mexico. And this is the Six of Cups. Now, Six of Cups, this is the Hallmark card of the tarot deck. This, but what is the significance here? First of all, it's a cup. It's the heart. A six is also the beginning of harmony. It's a two times three. So it's the trinity times two. I like to do that with the numbers. Some people do that with the numbers. But some people say to me, Patricia, 
what do the numbers mean? You know, I see these sequential numbers and I see numbers. I'll tell you one number you want to start seeing. You want to start seeing this number here, 17. 17 is sacred sexual. That means that your higher self is in connection and an 11 will be uh, coming into the harmony of your union, but the 17 is the higher sacred connection. Sometimes you might see combinations of this, like 1717, um, 717. If you see that, that's a good, that's a very auspicious number for you. Sixes are the beginning of harmony. And this is particularly significant because as we've gone through the holiday season, the new year, and we get into the doldrums of the new year, like, oh, everything's a letdown, and this didn't happen, that didn't happen, the bills start to pour in, um, people go back to their normal routine, there's not the excitement, there's not parties, we've got to purge out all the holiday food. That's how it is for a lot of people in Western cultures. And yet, um, this card here, this is happy memories, happy childhood memories. For me, this is a happy Chicago. And we do have troubles. Every major area is having its troubles right now. We're all having growing pains. Um, I got another message, which was this. Now, five, I took the number five, and of course, roses. This is the uh, Celtic symbol for the Trinity, and that's also um, the, tr the Trinity, or the, to use a different term, twin flame, <laughs> because it's you and your twin and the higher energy, the third energy that you're creating, or the divinity. And this may or may not be significant to a lot of people, but for me, I took it as a five, which is changes, it's restoration. You're getting restored to a proper level where you can make changes. They will be with less effort on your part. It's going to be a lot of things for a lot of people because it's going to be financial stuff. It's going to be um, new homes. It's going to be geographical moves or moving out of a house. There's also very swift change. Now, one of the things that I want to let you know in terms of the body preparation, many people will find that people that they know either become suddenly sick and pass over. Just in the past two days, I've heard of six people that are either close or as a part of the reading, someone had in the family had passed over. And my condolences to you. However, as we, as we keep moving forward here, what you'll find is fewer people will suffer with the illnesses that they have. And what are some of these? These are soul damage. We don't want to linger in this. It's no quality of life. We all want our life back. The real life is much more vivid in the fifth dimension where many of you are from and you've come back here or you're going back there and you haven't been there in a really long time and it's beginning to wear and tear on you. So one of the things that helps you get through and I'm telling people all the time, be patient. Patient isn't easy. I'll give you an analogy for that. You can use an analogy like gardening where you cannot rush the vegetables. You can do everything you want uh, to make those vegetables grow, but until they're ready to pick off the vine, they're not going to be ready. You have to be patient. But here's another analogy, okay? Let's say um, the patience of some aspects of the feminine a lioness, a tigress, what do they do? They wait. And some of you with the huntress energy, you'll relate to this. Now, you're not going to pounce. However, 
waiting till things are in the proper range, waiting until it is less effort on your part, waiting until things come around your way is what's appropriate for some people. And the waiting itself serves a purpose. There's value in waiting. There's value in persevering and sticking with something because you are going against the grain here in a lot of ways. There's still negativity out there. There's people that are being negative. And if you're a twin flame being negative, guess what you just created? You're creating that negativity that other people perceive as the darkness that's against us. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's unnecessary. And in case nobody's mama told them, if you don't have nothing nice to say, please don't say it. And it's important that we're all kind to each other. It's especially important that you're kind and gentle to yourself during this period and expectant. Some of you are like you have baby skin. It's very sensitive. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle. Don't delve into the collective. Don't participate in things. Honor your union just as you want your twin to honor your union together. And it will go much better for you. So as we come into the, these next uh, few months, there's going to be a lot to talk about. There's several more retrogrades this year. There just are. It just is. You're going to feel the energy. I'm here to help you navigate this stuff a lot easier so that you know what to do. So that you know what actions to take or if you should pause, if you should wait. You know, what is, the days are gone when, um, you know, a king hired a seer or an astrologer for the court to tell them when are they going to, you know, wage a battle or against their enemy. But some of you have actually been that astrologer or the vizier or the seer or the wizard or the medicine woman. Some of you have been in that role and now you're expected to wait while you're made entirely new. But you're the one who's proactive on it, and you will be the ones who actually benefit from this time period. You are going to turn around and help other people. And it only takes, it doesn't take millions of people. It takes some individuals to be the cup and receive. Just be the cup on some days. Receive. Receive your higher energies, allow, you try and allow. You catch your lower emotions, you keep your vibe up. And that's how you do it. It's not impossible, this isn't rocket science, it's love. Who are you? You're the love. Hey, what's the strongest thing on earth? It's love. So, um, I had this too. Kindness. This came home from the school. But what I want to also cover in here, okay, because it's not going to be necessary to force things. Love is what opens doors. Love is changeable. Love changes and transforms things. Love always have and it has and it always will. Love is what gets things done. Love is the desire and the passion of the heart to create. And there's going to be a lot of people that feel on fire this year. That's another thing about this five. That's a, that's a fire number. That's the air, earth, wind, um, land, and the water and the love. Five, five things all together. And we're pulling everything together here. You're getting good again at what it is that you're able to do best. And you're here to be a lover. The fight is coming out of a lot of people. They're going to find that they don't have it in them to fight, to argue, to convince. This is, this is not something that 
you have to do a really hard job on. This is going to become easier. We have already elevated things. But yeah, when things go direct, it's action time. It is action time for speaking to the right people. If you haven't been able to do something prior to, such as get your divorce, go talk to someone. And not every country has great divorce laws. They just don't. But if you can take actions, do it. That's how you start to make that ripple effect that starts to change things out there in other parts of the world. And the patient state you have, it will pay off because even when you're in things, even if you are sick with something, it will alleviate. You will get out of it. Now, some other things um, to know, a lot of people have had to take care of family, family or friends. You've had situations you don't want, and even that will begin to alleviate. If you have housing problems, if you have job problems, this is, this is the time when that frozen stuff begins to start to break up, okay? And um, we had a really huge storm here in the United States, and it dumped a lot of snow on a lot of places. There's a lot of concerns. But when these things come up, it's, it very much seems erratic. And why does it happen? Why? Sometimes it sheds light on the infrastructure. Sometimes it allows some people to get the overtime to pay for their holiday bills or their tax bills coming up. Um, there are usually multiple purposes that come out of it when you look on the positive side. Some people get a snow day and go skiing and other people are simply stuck. And they have to pause and wait and be patient. They have to wait for the roads to clear. There are concerns of flooding. Um, there's also all kinds of things going on all over the world. Why the imbalance? Why would there be so much precipitation or snow in one area and a drought in the other end? Why this country and not that country? When are things going to stabilize? Well, they start to stabilize when you stabilize your internal world. When you work on clearing and preparing your body and being that cup, that's what it takes. That's what it takes. It takes getting your inner harmony. It gets getting through all of the childhood crap and every dirty thing that was ever done to you out having it erased from your hard drive, having it alleviated from your spirit and your soul, getting yourself reconnected, getting yourself opened again. And yes, then you can be balanced in your union. Your masculine and feminine can balance. You can be balanced with your twin flame. And now, I got another message for me because I get a lot of um, information. Information comes through the readings and the sessions that I do. There is an energetic component to everything, even in these videos that I do, but especially in my webinars. And my message was this, assert myself, my ideas are worthwhile. Because we all have doubts sometimes. And I said it in my last video, if I've helped one person, then yeah. But I also have really good ideas. I have not only ideas and information, I have exercises. And let me put it this way. How much time, money, and energy would you put into something getting therapy or going to the doctor or something like that. And grant you, my exercises are here to help. What they are here to help you with are to open the channels to make it easy to release. That's what they're there for. Make it easy for you to reconnect. They're very reasonably priced. They're priced at what I consider a global rate. But beyond that, 
they carry an energetic component that people write me back and tell me they're getting results on it. Now, not everyone needs to go back to ABC either. And not everyone is going to need the same thing. So I also get guidance on that. And I am one of those people that has my finger on the pulse. But it's not my finger. It's not because I'm out there. It is because I'm up here. I'm connected. And every time I'm away, this is my continuing education. Just like if you had any kind of teacher or a job that you had and someone goes away and says, I need a little hiatus, but I'm going on some continuing education. And you come back and you're fresh and you're new and you're on fire and you got some great new stuff. That's me. That is me. And so some things that will help right now, back in October 2014, my new lives and new timelines webinar a lot of great information about getting your organs back online, especially if you're doing some purging, especially if you have metabolic issues or you find that your twin overdoes something and you're trying to get yourselves into balance and into harmony in your union. Because the parts of you that will connect, I want to explain something to you about twin flames. You have two human bodies together and if you're having human relations, you're slapping your meat together. If you are a twin flame, your bodies come together and you touch each other without even touching each other. You feel each other without speaking. You communicate poetry to each other without uttering a sound. You hear music. Now, to a different degree for everyone so far. How do you get to the good stuff? And just saying, because I'm going to assert myself here, it is uh, that webinar is a good place to start. January of last year, if you're concluding karma, you find yourself in situations where you just really need to finish this. Finish it appropriately at the level where it was created so you can see the changes right here at this physical level. And January of this year, 2016, the one I did a month ago, especially if you have children. If you have children and you're concerned about your kids, that's a good one for that. Everything carries an energetic wavelength to it, an elevation, an entrainment. What's an entrainment? If you have a guitar here and you have a guitar here and you hum, pluck the chord or a tuning fork, that other instrument will do -do 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 -do, receive and resonate with the same frequency. It brings up your frequency, quite honestly. That's what it does. So to wrap up here, um, as we head into February, I'm going to have some other things to talk about it. I've known it for about two months, but it will be time. One thing that I will say is what is one of the things that way back, 2010, a lot of people were scared. I was reminded of this, reminded of this. Ooh, the world's going to end in 2012. It didn't. What ended? Karma ended. Karma ended. We closed the door on it. Be willing to finish closing the door on it. Be willing to. That's what we're in this action time of now. This is when things start to go direct. That is the actions that you take, is putting the finishing touches on there, getting things restored, making the changes that need to be made. Even if it's a small thing, it could be a dietary thing, it could be a household thing. You could change your blanket, you could um, change your mattress, and every little thing that you do will be a positive change for you. Be very kind to yourself. Be careful out there. It's crazy out there. Okay, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like my videos. Thank you so much to everyone who has watched my videos and who has subscribed. I really do appreciate it. Bye now.